But in general, looking at this escalating tit-for-tat tariff situation with China, the fact that the EU is putting retaliatory tariffs on some U.S. goods just today, some are expected uh, from Canada next week. Has that had any impact on trade flows at the Port of Long Beach, which is one of the biggest in the country? Well, at the Port of Long Beach, the trade flow has been very vibrant. You know, for 2017, we had our highest growth in container movement. And uh, for the first five months of 2018, that growth continues at the tune of 14% year to year. So there has been no significant impact on the Port of Long Beach, which, as you are aware, we're the complex, the nation's largest port complex. And most of our trade that uh, happens here, imports that come in, are in fact from China. Have you actually seen an increase in activity, particularly where stuff moving in and out of the port to and from China and the Asia region, have you seen an increase in anticipation of more tariffs? Well, we have definitely seen an increase in cargo and uh, for a couple of reasons, uh, primarily the consumer demand. And uh, as you know, the, the domestic economy is very vibrant as well as the global economy. And, again, and there's a component that there may be an increase because of, again, the expected expectations of the applicable tariffs. Port of Long Beach has been around for more than a century. I would imagine you've seen trade wars and tariff disputes play out before. How would you expect this to go? Well, I think history will tell you that at some point uh, there will be a balanced discussion where the parties, in this case, China and the United States, come to a meeting of the minds. So I think the trade will continue our forecast for the coming years is, uh, again, a very expanding movement of cargo. So I think at the end of the day, while there's a, certainly a discussion at the higher level regarding some issues that are, are legitimate, uh, I think trade will move forward. And again, ultimately, if this continues, though, uh, ultimately the consumer will be paying higher prices. But uh, uh, in terms of the amount of cargo that we're going to be seeing in our biggest trade partner in, uh, for the United States and China, I don't think that's going to change. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.